Alright, what am I supposed to do here? George. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I so, think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, because I think she's just trying to log into that page that you keep logging me out, and I don't want to lose exactly. that account. This is that's the same thing I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, okay, so first things first, I want to tell you that George is here, and George is from Kogi oh. State. I'm from oh. Yeah, from, oh, you're from... <laughs> so this is a Kogi Connect. <laughs> this is a Kogi Connect, then, so it's it's right. nice. It's all right. Yeah. Nice meeting you. So my name is BJ Me. I'm the founder of Alpha actually. Um, no, okay. Okay. Nice meeting you, BJ. Yeah, yeah, nice meeting you. So um we want to learn more about you. We want to know how you've been able to connect podcasting and um, being a doctor. Okay, we want to hear all of that information. And while we are doing that, I'm going to go mute so that you can introduce yourself to the public, let everybody know who you are. Okay. I think my parents are at the gate, so I need to go open the gate for them. Okay, so I'm yeah, Okay, no problem. Right here. I'm just going to do no that problem. and I'll be right back. Okay, do I wait for so, you? Please. Um, all right, uh, so uh, while BDME is away, uh, let me give you a sneak peek on to um, who I am. I'm Nicholas, and uh, um, I'm a podcaster. I'm the host of the Little Bits of Stuff podcast, and it's a medical podcast, health education, health informatics, whatever you want to call it. And it's the aim is just to try to connect the um, the public more towards um, uh, the health system and the doctor in general. So um, the aim of the podcast is to talk about uh, several um, public health concerns and to also talk about several things, uh, several things you may encounter while you're on a visit to the hospital or any health institution in particular. And so, uh, that being said, I started this podcast uh, just um, over two years ago now, and um, only oh, just two years ago. And um, yeah, I, I've always wanted to find a way to talk to people about um, different health issues. Okay. Uh, because a lot of people come to the hospital without actually, uh, some of them don't even know what they are being treated for. They don't know why they are being treated. Mm -hmm. They don't have any information about the, their last visits and what they were told. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of misinformation out there. So okay. I started a podcast to bring the public closer to the doctor okay. to tell you about your rights, mm -hmm. tell you about common conditions, and I, I try as much as possible not to give you too much information anyway, because okay. that's what Google does for you. Uh, okay. Google gives you, bombards you with a lot of information and you don't get any help at all. And then we believe yeah, so, the answers. <laughs> yeah, and then you believe the answers. So if anyone listens, most people that listen to my podcast always ask why I don't give uh, solutions. You see a lot of people on TV telling you go use this drug or go do that or go do this. The maximum advice I'm going to give you on my podcast is what you can do as a first aid if it's really very important yeah. and tell you to find your near the nearest hospital. Because uh, thinking you know it, because uh, one Dr. Nick has said it somewhere, you may just have the whole diagnosis wrong. And you know, treat yourself badly and get you know really hurt. So, yeah, that's um, more or less what my podcast is about. Uh, the question you asked uh, before we went off the other time about yeah, how, how I, you, you know, yes, how do you find yeah. 
<laughs> the truth of the matter is that I work um, most of the day. Okay. Uh, by 7 o'clock, I'm at work. And I don't actually have a closing time, per se. Wow. And, um, okay. yeah. And so most of my episodes come out or are produced over the night. So 2 a.m., 3 a.m., I'm up actually recording something. You actually and then... <laughs> <laughs> so if I get to get home uh, between 8 and 9, I go to sleep. By 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, I'm awake. And then I record an episode, do some personal stuff, uh, study if I have to uh, read up on the surgery or whatever it is. And... Then I go to work, so repeat, rinse, you know. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> you. Because yeah. I usually want editing your podcast episode. Are you are you the one editing your episodes? Yeah, I do that all my all by myself. So you do everything yourself? Yeah, everything. If you had the opportunity to outsource production of your episodes, mm-hmm. would you take on that opportunity? Yeah, I would. Uh, it makes things uh, a little bit difficult. I mean, a little bit better and okay. a little bit easier for me. Uh, okay. But the the real deal is that um, I found a way to actually cope. I think what I have uh, issues with most of the time is staying on top of um, telling people it's out, mm-hmm. and also you know uh, getting people. I mean, getting it on social media. Okay, so that eats into my time because I have to tell them during the day and most of the most of the time during the day I'm busy. So that I can actually outsource. Um, editing and all that, I found a way around it. I use Adobe Audition and I yeah, and so I I I developed a, a template. Okay. Uh, yeah, I developed a template and I record just one take. So um yeah, I, I believe that sometimes even mistakes, as long as it's not in the information you're giving out, yeah. uh, mistakes, pronunciation, whatever it is, being natural as much as possible, you know, helps you connect more rather than an overly edited uh, podcast that, you know, just, um, yeah, sounds uh, so robotic and everything like that. So, okay. yeah, so I, I do one take. And so by the time I'm getting up, I'm ready to export everything and, you know, publish. And then at the same time, I have a mixer uh, in my little workspace. So I play music and everything at the same time I'm recording, you know, I mix and everything mixes up, you know, via the process I've already, you know, put in place. And so I just, you know, click export. It's on my phone. I get up, rush to work, and while I'm you know, a little bit, one minute less busy, two minutes less busy, I publish, uh, another minute less busy, I tell people on my WhatsApp, another minute less busy, I put it on Instagram, you know, I keep on doing all that during the day till, you know, wow. uh, it gets out there, yeah. Some of us that don't do what you do still think that it's a lot, but you've been able to, I can see that you found this yeah. system. So you would yeah, rather yeah. get someone to publicize and distribute your podcast to be seen by a lot of people than yeah. producing the podcast. Yeah, as long as my system still works for now in terms of producing the podcast, I would right now need someone to do the other job. Mm-hmm. Uh, when that is done, of course, I can move on to someone doing the editing and the production as a whole. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Like, I'm actually going to intentionally listen to your podcast. <laughs> and then I'm going to tell people that I know a doctor who gets who goes to work 7 a.m., comes back home very late, and still finds yeah. time. No, no. What to excuse? That would be my <laughs> doctor. Doctor, you need find yeah. time to make podcast episodes. So, what is your excuse? Mm. Really, really, this is really inspirational. And um, mm. I think a lot more people should know more about what you do because your podcasts are impact themed, which is something I'm looking to uh, go into this year because I'm also a podcast. Mm. I, I really want to 
provide more value than just fun, mm -hmm. fun, fun, and opinions. I want to also yeah. include some facts and research in my podcast. And you're already mm -hmm. doing that. And people can actually get good information about their health from you. So yeah. speaking about health, which of your episodes would you think is the most valuable of your episodes? Like if people listen to that episode, they would love mm -hmm. what you said, medically speaking. Mm. <laughs> That's actually a difficult question. Uh, yeah, it's quite a difficult question because I liked what you said about uh, facts and research. Yeah. Um, in as much as I know what I'm about to talk about, I, I mean, you can tell me to talk about malaria right now and I can go on and on for hours, right? But if I want to make a podcast, I still go on to do some research about... Um, the new things and you know the nitty gritty whatnot as if i'm studying malaria again you know yeah. so that's what happens for every episode to make sure that because um, medicine is very dynamic mm -hmm. right you might have a knowledge about typhoid just yesterday and today there's some researcher in the bahamas who you know uh, has brought out something, something very new. different something new and that that, that works so I need to be able to tell you um, what is current as at when that podcast is, episode is coming out. Mm -hmm. And so you, you can see how difficult it is for me to point to one episode. Yeah, I think malaria and typhoid, uh, now speaking of it, I think, I think the malaria and typhoid episode is one which I think I uh, kind of um, tried to bring people to understand that every time you go to a hospital, malaria and typhoid is not the first thing that is the issue that is wrong, <laughs> that is wrong with you. And I was, I, I ranted a little bit in that episode, I must confess, uh, because um, I was telling someone just the other day, a friend of mine went to a hospital and then came back. I had told her that what is wrong with her is not malaria, neither is it typhoid. Mm. Okay. But she went to the hospital, and then, of course, uh, permit me to say it's, um, uh, I shouldn't be saying this out there, but it's, it's not every hospital or every health institution, let me put, use that word, it's not every health institution you go to that has someone qualified to see you. Mm. It may be someone that is um, not a doctor. And you may not know if you don't go to the right hospital. I see. Right. And it may be someone who is in some other health specialty okay. that may see you, and you may never know sometimes. And, um, of course, we will plead with the medical council to you know, help curb all these things and all that. And so you go to a hospital. If you test me right now, I'll probably have a malaria parasite in my blood. Okay. And so if I go to, go to a private, I mean, a particular hospital, I can get you to test for malaria and then you'll be positive and then I'll prescribe drugs for you. And, you know, there you go. You've spent money, right? Mm. And so I told someone, I said, I've not had to treat malaria and typhoid in a long time. Mm. In, you know, for my patients where I work, is it that these patients don't get malaria and typhoid? So... If, if, you, if you go to a hospital and every time you go there, it's malaria and typhoid. I go to some hospitals to consult and a patient walks in and is, is like, ah, doctor, my doctor malaria and typhoid malaria. is back. <laughs> my doctor typhoid malaria. is back. <laughs> okay. My colleague here is, is laughing already. You know, my typhoid is back. It just gives me so and -so, so drug that you know, they've been giving them and let me go. And I'm like, there's nothing like your typhoid is back. You know, so I think that episode, you know, people should really listen to it and, you know, uh, it will go a long way to help them. That episode on um, uh, African Voice of the Week, um, if you can share with us the details of the episode and maybe one or two clips, definitely. Oh, I will. The whole world. I will, definitely. Episode. Thank you so it, much. It will be my pleasure. Yes, yes. We will definitely want to work with you again. I hope you can squeeze us in into your very, very, very tight schedule. But yes, we definitely would like to work with you. And mm -hmm. I can see that from all we've been seeing, everything has been medically inclined. I'm just here listening. Like, obviously, your podcast has to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. 
definitely for your time i really apologize for earlier you know the whole network issue all right yeah i'm just glad i was able to step in but this will yeah. be for now and we'll get in touch with you on how us would like to partner with you i'm looking at most likely a feature sometime soon and yes that sounds like a very good plan Okay, it's it's. I'll be I'll be nice to. I mean, it would be nice to work with you too. So right. I'm open. Yeah. No, just, aside uh, that, don't worry. Start. We are still going to just and talk about the fact that I have the kogi person on board. I never knew. <laughs> I <laughs> never knew, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should talk about that. Yeah. yeah. It's nice Bye. meeting you and talking to you, Jimmy. Take care. Bye. Bye.